Welcome back guys, my name is Anthony with GCG Productions and you are watching our Valentine's Day special. In this video, I'm just gonna teach you some simple ways to not be alone on Valentine's Day because it's the day for couples. You know, Valentine's Day, commonly known as V-Day, V can stand for a lot of things, you know, very sad day, very single day, Victor day. So if your name is Victor, shout out to you because it's your day on February 14th. Step one, you always wanna make sure you're clean. Clean yourself up, whether it be, you know, just like a little haircut, as little as just a shower, I'm sure most of you if hopefully all of you shower every day dress up nice make sure you got that hygiene going shave if you need to shave you know you got to look fresh your boy doesn't look fresh all the time but you know Valentine's Day is coming up I gotta step up my game step number two you always want to make sure you look as great as possible guys so you got to start hitting those weights you want to impress the ladies with one of these you know chicks dig muscle some chicks dig dad bods I don't know what the craze is about that but guys hit the gym step number three if you don't like taking showers this one is an alternative for those of you in middle school I used to do this too I'm guilty as charged apply a nice fragrance and by nice fragrance I don't mean you know take an axe bottle and psh, you know no, no no we don't want none of that for men half a spritz for women I don't know how it works because I'm not a girl just make sure you don't put too much just enough so that your significant other can smell you if you play your cards right this might just land and you a spot in happy town step number four and arguably one of the most important you guys got to dress with some style but you also want to stay classy you know I know that hype beast is going around you all want to have some supreme some off-white I don't know very many hype beast stuff because you know I don't have hype beast stuff but I'm a very classy man and that's how you want to be especially if you're trying to impress someone you want to stay classy these little subtle things guys you know see the two chains here the watch I got that nice cutoff shirt shows off a little bit but not too much you want to keep it classy but you always want to have some style points because style points always win big. Ask Kyrie Irving, going from wine and gold to green and white, that helped his career out a little bit. So now that you guys look hella fresh, I'm gonna show you guys how to actually get the date of your dreams. Step one, or technically six, if you did the first five or four. Anyways, now that you look fresh, it's time to get a date. Step one in getting a date, you gotta talk to someone. A lot of people come up to me and say, bro, how do you get so many girls? And I just say, bro, I talk to people. It's so easy. All you gotta do is talk to someone. The worst part is is approaching someone guys trust me firsthand I used to be your age or I, I might not be your age yet but regardless of your age approaching someone is the hardest thing to do trust me I've been there I know how it is as soon as you do it once you can do it again and the more you practice the easier it gets go approach whoever you want to date and just you know start a conversation up talk about something interesting find something in common that you want to say maybe you guys both like basketball you guys can talk about basketball say uh IT is pretty short he's gonna look really good in gold because all of us here at gold chain gang minus Nick you know under six foot tall spark an interesting conversation whether it be something that you guys both know or something that you're very passionate about girls like passion oh I'm sure guys like passion too as a guy I kind of like passion just uh, don't talk too much you know one of the biggest things is confidence you need confidence to succeed without confidence you're not gonna go anywhere nothing's gonna happen and you're gonna stay with a ps4 controller in your hands playing 2k all night long ask any girl if confidence is hot as hell and they will say yes but you cannot take it too far nobody likes a cocky guy nobody likes a cocky individual confidence will get you success everywhere whether it be in a job interview or a relationship or a friendship. You guys gotta go up to your professors too, you know, every now and then and say, hey, why aren't you rounding up my 49.5 to 90%? Once you start talking to your significant other, you want to create interesting scenarios, things that could happen in the future, things that have happened in the past, something that's interesting to you, something that might spark this relationship further. For example, you want to take her out on a date. You tell her about some possibilities. It's not about how much money you got in your wallet. I mean, for some people it is. But disregard those. It's not about how much money you got. It's about how much heart you have. Another key is to buy Valentine's Day related items. A lot of you have been in a supermarket before and you guys know that they have this seasonal thing where they have a bunch of Valentine's Day things everything's red pink or purple and it sucks to those of us that are single but you got to still invest in some of them and I'll show you guys exactly what to invest in everybody's elementary school favorite give one of these to somebody boom you're good chocolate hearts all girls like chocolates and everybody has a heart stickers another elementary school classic stickers will stick to people's heart and one more item a tennis ball and why because well if you don't like tennis congratulations played yourself. I'm sure Nick's aged right now. So now you have got your significant other to agree to go out on a date. 
congratulations. You didn't play yourself, not yet. Step one, once you have your date set, take your date to a restaurant. It's very classy, most of the time it's inexpensive. It's just a really nice gesture. Depending on where you go, you know, don't take her out to McDonald's. Well, if, I mean, if that's all you can afford, make sure that she knows your financial situation. If she complains about it and she's not the one for you and you gotta know your worth. For those of you that don't have enough money to take somebody to a restaurant, well, you can always do something at home. Invite her over to your house, cook her up something. Maybe you know one of those Netflix and chill dates. Chill means sharing candies. Now I know it can get very awkward if it's just one-on-one, -on -one, you and the girl or you and the guy. Things can get awkward, you know, conversations can stop. Maybe she's on her phone, she's not completely interested in you. So you can go out as a group. Take a group of friends, make sure she can bring some friends too, and just go have some fun as a group. Go to a restaurant, go to a fair, go to a Kings game. Shout out to the Kings for winning three straight, by the way. I like you a bot, go Kings. Go on a blind date. Blind dates almost never end terrible, but they almost never end well. So I mean, that's a toss up. If you want to flip the coin, you can. I'm going to be flipping a sweet tart. It says go for it because blind dates land in true love. So you can't get a date or your date cancels or you can't go out as a group and you can't find a blind date to go out with. Not necessarily someone that's blind, but someone that you, you've never met before. Anyway, Tinder works wonders. Take it from me. Take it from everybody else at Gold Chain Gang that's been on Tinder. If you want to do your thing for one night, go for it. But you're not going to find a relationship. I showed you guys what to do and what not to do. A bunch of tips were in this video. And if you have anything else you want to add or maybe something I forgot to say, put it in the comment section down below because hey, we're all in this together. No one should be alone on Valentine's Day. I think I just got myself a date. This is not fate. Boom! Coincidence? I think not. Snapchat from my crush. Let's go. Your boy's going out on Valentine's Day and I expect every single one of you guys to be too. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit this video with a huge thumbs up because if you don't, North Korea is going to attack and we don't want that. Comment down below what you want to see us do next in future videos and subscribe to Gold Chain Gang because huge things are coming soon. We have new videos dropping every Sunday and guys, happy Valentine's Day. Hopefully you guys found these tips very helpful. We'll see you next week. Take care and stay safe. You're watching Gold Chain Gang.